back day is listed for tomorrow on Saturday and that's when we're hoping the temperatures get a little bit yes. better around here. Yeah, the temperatures are looking much better for the weekend and really later today even. Not okay. so bad. Because okay. the weekend really starts later today. Yeah, 12.30. That's right, 12.30. <laughs> <laughs> Start of our weekend on yes. the, this, this early shift, but it's looking like a great afternoon. Good. We're looking mm -hmm. at 70s. Not as sunny at the end of the day today, but you know, not rainy yet either. That rain comes later tonight. Beautiful sunrise though this morning. We've had some of those high clouds around. Temperatures in the city have not been so bad. 42 where we've been locked in at this morning feels like 38. As soon as you get outside of Columbus, though, that's where the cold air is 30 in Newark, 32 Lancaster, 30 in London, 32 Marysville and 33 in Delaware this morning. Those wind chills going to be a factor too as you step outside. It's been cold enough this morning for the frost alerts once again. So if you're leaving in the next uh, hour or two here, watch out for a little bit of frost. You may have to give the windows a quick scrape, especially outside of Franklin County this morning. Over the next 12 hours, we do warm things up, but we start to cloud things up. We see additional cloud cover by the afternoon, but temperatures climb into the 70s later today. So not looking so bad when it comes to the temperatures. The rain chances they start to come as we head toward tonight. Over the next several days, well, we keep climbing up until Sunday, and that's when temperatures do start to go down some. 82, where we peak out over the next seven days, we start to drop down into the 70s again as we head toward this week with 60s back by next Friday. But the good news is that's 68 as cold as we're expected to get when it comes to afternoon highs over the next 10 days. The radar out there this morning, nice and quiet, but we're not far off from our next round of rain. You can see out toward the west and the south, there's a warm front pushing its way into Kentucky and southern Indiana this morning. That moisture eventually going to track its way up into Ohio as we head toward this evening, bringing us our next chance for rain. You can see it here hour by hour. The cloud cover first starts to build in as we head toward noon. We're mostly cloudy as we head toward the evening commute but the good news is you should be able to get home with dry weather. But if you head back out for dinner or an event tonight, you're looking at, well, some rain chances you'll need to dodge. Here's 7, 8 o'clock. You see those showers starting to push through the region. We're dealing with the showers into the overnight hours tonight, possibly a rumble of thunder too, but not expecting anything stronger than that. Working our way towards Saturday morning, 4 o'clock, you can see scattered showers out there. The same continues as we head through 10 and 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. Watch out for possibly a stray shower during during the half marathon, those races tomorrow can't rule it out, but the good news is the best chance for rain looks closer to Toledo, so it's not looking like we have a complete chance for rain tomorrow, but something to keep in mind. You may have to dodge throughout the day. Saturday we will clear things out by Saturday afternoon. Here's forecast for the Cap City half marathon. We're looking at temperatures kick things off in near 60 degrees, warming up into the mid 60s by the time the race comes to an end. Again, may have to dodge a stray shower or two. The next seven days temperatures keep climbing up into the 70s and eventually 80s as we head towards Sunday. Falling temperatures of rain chances next week, but temperatures are back into the 70s by the end of the forecast.